Hey, this is me on Get Real, and I, that was really weird. I, um, I sell stuff on eBay, but I don't make money. Um, this is my, my packaging that I use, and my shipping costs pretty much more than the price people pay me. Someone said they weren't selling some luxury items, and they increased the prices, and it sold, and I've had some stuff sell that should have been higher. They try to shrink down. Let's look at the news. I was volunteering today. I missed last week and I felt really bad. And I think people had some trouble having patience to see because it's like it's optional. And I was able to see a lot of people. Most like most of you on the list actually was just surprising, except for six. Um, let's see. I have my water on. I keep an eye on time. It's like really drafty. It's, according to my car, 66 degrees, so I just got back. I didn't go to my office on the way home. I didn't get gas, and I get, like, paranoid looking at um, people at, um, Washington State school shooting. Oh, my God, student dies. That's scary. That's, like, right across the river from us. Um, I am so cold right now. I'm going to turn the fan off. Um, this is us. Dear, ask Amy on Lifestyle Mercury News. I'm hot for my girlfriend's daughter and now she's 18. That is really scary. People are like, don't date anyone until your kids are grown. You don't want that to happen. That to happen. Um, <clears throat> I was going to find out about this hepatitis thing. Bleaching San Diego. So, I just got home and I'm, I'm usually like so tired. And it's like I can't sleep. Or I can't do anything, like, opposite of sleep. can't sleep either. So it's fairly quiet. You hear the traffic behind my house. So that's the I-5 south exit to 99W, which is a really big road. That, that Well, I-5 goes all the way to California, but I-5 I to Salem. People get off here to go to McMinnville and Newburgh and to Portland, southwest Portland Tiger. Um, so I guess the next exit up would be Tualatin, which is the Portland Metro. Um, <clears throat> I keep getting news in Spanish, evacuation in Espanol. Um, I guess I just put two out, one in English and one in Espanol. Um, So there's news on the Eagle Creek fire, and I was sitting in the car like, oh my god, like this morning, I didn't film, because I was running late, um, I changed my bed, and I was scared of like bugs as I was watching, um, it wasn't Hoarder or whatever, the, the regular show on A&E or whatever, it's on YouTube, I don't have cable, it was like, I think it was a European show that was, all I pretty much saw was Lady in Florida. And she was in a alone, seventy something years old, and she seemed so sweet and innocent. And she had cockroaches, and her toilets and stuff were broken, and she had feces and bags that they thought were coffee ground, coffee piled up, and she had a lot of cockroaches. We had like these bugs in the carpet, and I'm like, I need to like clean everything, move everything. So I got like paranoid watching that. Or, like, even, like, ants coming through the kitchen window. I told you they cut out the, the windows. So none of this stuff was a problem. And, until, I mean, there was a couple of ants in there. But it got really bad when the people cut the windows out with saws. And literally, like, they put some kind of shield under the window. I guess water type thing that was by regulation. And then they 
literally glued the windows back in with the black stuff and then they filled in the gaps with spray foam and I used to smell like really bad like chemicals and like, I had like caught rodents and like, animals were getting sick and I was getting sick I was calling the manager and stuff was turned out missing stuff was broken people coming in and out of my house <laughs> they were using my electricity when they weren't supposed to they were like leaving personal items in my shed like all of this stuff and then they I was like they're like oh we're gonna tell them to come and get it I was like I have my own stuff up there and then they took this my stuff and threw it in the garbage and then they had to go dig in the dumpster to get my like it I was like no I'll do it because I don't they don't know what's mine and it was just like I don't even, I've never owned, um, income generating property, um, and so it's really hard to have a lot of empathy about protecting the rights of your tenants in their space while doing remodeling, and besides the integrity of the building, if I was the owner, on the outside driving by, if I was the owner, I'd be like, yeah, pay them lots of money. But if you live inside and you see how they slap stuff together and how bugs that you never had are like crawling through the cracks, they cut out the back porch, all the porches they, they sawed with cement saws. So what used to be cement and foundation, they cut and then they refilled that gap and they didn't refill it. So it's basically like gravel and the top is solid but underneath what used to be cement to the house to the I don't know if it's called the crawl space next to that it's not connected let's just say and so a bunch of bugs got have my, my guinea pig at the times cage it was just like 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 they put my sliding door on upside down so I can't really even utilize it that much like I don't know it's so stupid like you used to be able to walk past the kitchen table which there's a chandelier like a fake chandelier kind of have to put your kitchen table there and it's way too big for the premises and so the walk through you used to be able to open the door and and let um fresh air in and stuff but then we also had the perfect screen door like the stuff from the old house where i grew up their screen doors were fine the sliding ones when i moved in, i was like yes this is the perfect screen door and now the one they put in is such junk it doesn't open and close it doesn't lock I mean, it's supposed to open and close, it's supposed to lock. So, the forest fire today is reduced evacuation levels. That's good to know. Um, to Bridalville, it's already been evacuated. That's what, there's a bunch of stories about nuns. Level 2, and then... It'd be nice if they said what was the changes. Oh, level one evacuation listed for all areas of Trout Dale west of the Sandy River. No communities at level one. So that's the keep your eye on the news. Oh, so they need to look go and improve. They live there before they can re enter their house. Just like the uh, flooding and stuff. and. Um, <clears throat> Florida, I don't know what's going on in the other states around that hurricane stuff. And they want to only household animals, not livestock. The livestock are at the county fairgrounds or something. Imagine leaving your livestock randomly with a bunch of other people's lives. It would be weird. It's like, I have containers for my animals, the rodents. So I think my my guinea pigs I think they're gonna need two containers um and I'm I have um well that's somebody fell asleep in the car burn up <clears throat> it's crazy Three times later, I blood alcohol in it. Probably I didn't take so much blood without them. Like that thing in the news that uh, that nurse got arrested. Um. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go turn my water off, and um, I'm just like 
I was sitting on the ride home like, I have, I have way too much stuff to do, and I'm like, watching this movie this morning, I'm like, oh my god, I gotta clean my whole house, and if I'm home for a week or two, I don't have energy, but uh, it's like, yesterday I was like sitting here taking this class, and I gotta take, it's already September, I gotta take a bunch of classes, I have two months, it's around um, Thanksgiving that my uh, medical board puts out the list of or the re, what do you call it? I don't know what you call it. When you're re, I gotta get my license every year. It expires December 31st. So I have, they gave you a month before to turn in all your CE classes, pay your money, and make sure you do the interview, make sure you're not busted or do dewees and stuff like that. Um, that means I gotta come up with a bunch of money too. And then I am. Um, I gotta do, I gotta count my hours for my CE. Um, I gotta, I just, I just wanna sit here from now until the time I go to, to my weekend job on Friday to just do CE. Like, I literally feel like I wanna do that. Um, cause I'm really tired. As, as the days are getting shorter, I'm like super tired. But yeah, I was like feeling like, oh man, this lady, like, I've seen more than one of these um, hoarder hoarding episodes where people had a medical issue and they couldn't do their housekeeping and they were known to be very spotless and I've never been known to be spotless but when I got in that car accident the house and the yard was like bad and then I was trying to like fix it and have four jobs at the same time and one time some people, some girls, little girls helped my daughter and me cut some of the grass and the, the neighbors throw their garbage on the ground. So food, you know, pizzas with, pizza box with pizza in it, um, candy, like whole candy bars. You'll see squirrels running across the street with whole chocolate bars that somebody opened, threw on the ground, didn't eat. And so then because of the fo foliage in my yard, they got and hid back there. Like, oh my god, like, I was trying to cut it by myself, but these scissors is how I cut. It was really scary because they're shaking my, um, the plants and they were in there, those rats. Like, what are you doing in my house? I'm like, what are you doing in my house? Like, 